This video will be a simple demonstration of the large effect that a microwave has on 2.4 GHz, whereas it has a very small effect on 5 GHz. So here I have an iPhone 5, and right now it is connected to a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi connection. And you'll see it says Bluetooth off. just want to point that out to rule out any interference from Bluetooth. We'll go ahead and run a speed test. Make sure we're getting consistent repeatable results. I'll run it twice in a row. Right now I'm about 14 feet away from my router, which is one floor above me. Okay, about 17 down, four and a half up, restart the test. Ninety five milliseconds latency. 20 down, about four and a half up again. Okay, now on the third one, I'm going to have the microwave going, which is seven feet away from the camera. Okay, starting it again. terrible performance. So this effect happens pretty much throughout the house. Obviously it's stronger because I'm only about seven feet from the microwave, but you can see it's having a really large effect. It's having trouble even getting through this test. And the upload is terrible. Okay, the microwave finished and instantly the needle jumped up. Okay, so we're going to do the same set of tests but now on the 5 gigahertz. Oops, no Bluetooth, here we go. Wi-Fi, connect to the 5 gigahertz network. Done. Go back to the speed test. And run the test twice without the microwave on. Eighteen down, five up, do the test again. Eleven down, four and a half up. Okay, now I'm going to do the third one with the microwave running again. Obviously, you can see the huge difference. No problem. So, really no evidence of interference while the microwave is running using the 5 gigahertz frequency. Now, I do notice in my house, say I'm coming home from a drive, the 5 gigahertz goes a little less far than 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, wow, we get 29. We got a record number there while the microwave was running. So, the point is, since I and not impacted on 5 gigahertz at all, even when this kitchen appliance is running, I don't really see much reason not to use it. So on the iPhone 5 settings, I go ahead and forget the 2.4 gigahertz to avoid it from connecting accidentally when I pull back into the house. So there you have it, the end of this demonstration of the results that you should find very easy to replicate in your own home pretty much anywhere in your home when the microwave is running. Thank you for watching.